Good morning and welcome to What I Am, your daily newscast of world, national, and local news. We also have entertainment, sports, campus events, and your daily weather outlook. I'm Brandon Martin. The University of Iowa has announced that fans will be allowed to attend outside athletic events in limited numbers. The announcement comes after the Big Ten Conference said attendance policies at its 14 member schools will be determined by local health guidelines and restrictions. Iowa will also allow 50% capacity at outdoor venues, but will continue tighter restrictions at indoor events. Fans will be allowed to attend this Thursday afternoon's 4 p.m. women's soccer game against Penn State. The Hawkeyes football team starts spring training next Tuesday. Allowing fans into spring events at Kinnick Stadium is being discussed now. The U.S. is confirming North Korea launched two ballistic missiles into the Sea of Japan last night. Japan's Prime Minister says they strictly and strongly protest the launch. He added, it not only threatens the peace and security of the region, but it is against the UN resolution. He warned everyone to remain vigilant. This comes after it was reported the country has fired at least one missile over the weekend. President Biden will hold his first formal news conference at the White House today. He's expected to talk about current challenges and his vision for the country. But it's reported he's also going to explain about the COVID economic package directly affecting the lives of millions, and reporters are likely to press him on other such topics as the recent mass shootings, a surge at the border, and tensions with Russia, North Korea, and China. When we come back, we'll take a look at your WIT TV weather and entertainment news. Stay with us. Christina from accounting. Yeah, hi. <laughs> I used to date a girl named Christina. Oh, really? Yeah, and then she dumped me for my best friend. I thought we talked about this, buddy. Buzz and overshared again? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to call a car. That's a smart idea. Look, folks, get your kids on the bus, get your coffee, and get on YouTube. It's time for Wit AM. Wit AM is a student-ran news station that is invested on informing you with what you need. Here on Wit AM, you get the daily scoop on world, local entertainment news, and weather. It's great entertainment and in the high quality that you deserve. You can find our WitAM News channel and more videos at youtube.com slash WitTV. WitAM News, start your morning right. Myth. I can party with people as long as they don't have symptoms. That myth is false. As we've seen, up to 40% of people who have COVID-19 are asymptomatic and can pass it on to others. So I'd recommend avoiding any social parties, especially indoor ones. If you want to try to socialize but reduce your risk, I'd recommend meeting outside in small groups, continuing to wear a mask, and socially distancing from others if you can. Then together, we can keep COVID-19 out of school. For ways to keep your community safe, go to backtoschooltogether.com. Welcome back. In entertainment news, an Alabama child actor who starred in Talladega Nights is dead. The Shelby County coroner tells TMZ Houston Tumlin killed himself yesterday afternoon. Tumlin was 28. He played Will Ferrell's son, Walker Bobby, in the 2006 film, his only movie credit. Tumlin also served in the Army. A website wants to pay, to watch, to pay you to watch James Bond. NerdBear.com is offering $1,000 to watch the entire 007 franchise. That's 24 films from, doc, from 1962's Dr. No to 2015 Spectre. In celebration of the new Bond movie, No Time to Die, which debuts this year. The job requirements include watching every film in 30 days and filling out a worksheet. The winner will also get a gift card to rent the movies and another to go see the latest installment when it is released this September. Taking a look at today's weather, today you can expect some patchy fog in the morning, otherwise partly sunny and 53 degrees. Tonight will be partly cloudy with a low just above freezing at 32. And tomorrow expect evening showers and a high of 58. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to check up on all the latest WIT TV programming at our website and on our YouTube page. Enjoy your day.